Hey, good afternoon, everyone out there in uh, YouTube land. Uh, Revolutionary Brewer here, and today we're back with what else? Another uh, homebrew kit review. This one, it's uh, one of the custom kits uh, that's uh, made at Noble Grape, uh, the local brew store here in the Maritimes. Um, it's called Beeman's Honey Brown Ale, and uh, here it is. It's uh, brewed in a quart bottle, this one here. Uh, this is one of the kits where you uh, actually have to boil in the hops. It has the fresh grains uh, and uh, all that sort of thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up. This one's been in the fridge for about a couple weeks, uh, chilling, uh, and we'll see what it looks like. Uh, this, well, we'll get into the ingredients in a little bit, but first we'll give it a test and uh, see how it turns out. So let's get it up on screen and uh, we'll give it a little pour and uh, see what we got. Wow, she's carbonated, I'll tell you that. A bit over carbonated my beers. I'm going to cut, no, this one's way over carbonated. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uh, cut back a little bit on uh, my priming sugar. This is, yeah, this is way over carbonated. So what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to, um, going to pause the video and uh, we'll come back when this is, uh, little bit more presentable we'll take a test then all right so we're back what I did is I actually that was taken forever and they had to subside so I went and I poured a new pint and uh, this one I just poured very gently <laughs> I don't know what I did I I, I used uh, just a regular one cup of uh, one cup of uh, corn sugar. The only thing I'm thinking, maybe the honey in the uh, brew wasn't fully fermented. I didn't take a hydrometer read. And I just went, I just let it ferment for 10 days and transferred it. Maybe I should have, uh, maybe I should buy a new hydrometer just to be sure. But anyways, this is what the brew looks like uh, when it's poured gently. <laughs> uh, it's just... Uh, it's just a really, it's a dark, it's a really dark beer. Of course, it's a dark ale, but it's almost, uh, it's about the same color, a little bit lighter than a porter would be. It's hard to tell on camera, uh, but we'll try to get it up there. And if you can have a look, it just, there you go. So you can see it's it's a dark, uh, kind of a little bit of a copper color to a beautiful, beautiful looking beer. Let's have a taste and see how it turns out. Oh, that's nice. That's nice beer. Even though it is, <laughs> as you can see, that head's not going anywhere. So I guarantee you that. Uh, even though I did overcarbonate it a little bit, um, doesn't take anything away from the taste. What a nice beer! And the thing I like about this, you can just you, you can just uh, barely faintly taste that. It's fresh, made with uh, fresh Nova Scotia unpasteurized honey. Um, so again, this is the. Uh, box kit. I'll go ahead and put the ingredients up here. Uh, the box kit, it comes with uh, three pounds of light malt extract, comes with three pounds of dark malt extract, comes with uh, bittering hops, uh, comes with finishing hops, comes with a bag of uh, fresh grains. Uh, it, the, the grains, I'm not sure what kind they are, but they almost smell, they smell chocolatey when I was uh, putting them into the brew pot and uh, they smelt, they smelt delicious, to be honest. And uh, the final ingredient, it comes with, uh, it was either a pound and a half or two pounds of uh, unpasteurized, fresh Nova Scotia honey. Oh, man, it was sweet. I took a little, uh, just like a little taste before I put it into the beer. And, oh, it was very sweet. And this is what it produced. About, you know, 55 bottles of uh, delicious Brown goodness. That's what this is. Let's have another test. Oh man, that's good. That these kits are wonderful. They cut a little bit, a tiny bit more work than uh, just the canned kits. Not a whole lot. Not a whole lot more work. Uh, the only thing that takes a little bit more time, you have to boil the hops in. So it's a little bit more time consuming, but. Once, you know, once uh, it gets going, you can go and do something else while it's boiling. Uh, just make sure you watch for the hot break, otherwise it might boil up over the pot. You need a really big pot, too. Mine is, uh, like, uh, 
what a what do you call it eight quart pot i guess it's like a big kind of like stock pot not super big but um you don't need a huge pot just uh something that's fairly big so uh anyways i'll give this beer right here it's a solid four out of five these noble grapes if you happen to live in the maritimes can't say enough about these uh kits everything you just pick up the box off the shelf everything's in there the instructions the ingredients uh you know it's got your uh it's got your like rosin bags so you can put it or tea bags so you can put your grains in uh, it's got your yeast it's got uh everything everything's right in the box and the instructions are there and uh you're you're going to make top quality beer this is this is what you would call premium beer right here i mean it, it's delicious it tastes like something you would go and uh you know if you went to a brew pub for instance a brewed your own beer this is the this is almost the same quality that you're you know you're getting it's a tremendous beer like i said just watch the carbonation um they actually give you the priming sugar. I think I remember what happened on this beer. They give you a bag of priming sugar uh, to uh, carbonate with, and I added some extra in. I shouldn't have added any extra in. Uh, still, beer turned out great. Uh, just follow the instructions in the box. It's going to be great. Like I said, you get these at the Noble Grape. Great kits. They come in about maybe five or six different varieties. I think they got an IPA. They got a porter. They got just like uh, the Canadian ale that I did. They got this one. I think they got a red beer too. Uh, just uh, tremendous stuff. But uh, anyways, uh, keep on brewing. And uh, like I said, four out of five for the B-Man's Honey Lager. All right. Cheers, guys.